First question is from Retep Onkalb. What are some of the best moves for building bicep and tricep size and strength? Oh, yeah. Good old biceps and triceps. Work them arms. Um, so we can – most people – understand bicep and tricep exercises as isolation movements. And most people would say, or magazines or, or, or internet articles would say something like, you know, barbell curls for biceps, skull sh crushes for triceps. You know, those free weight isolation exercises are good for building mass in those, in those, uh, those two muscles. However, um, I don't think they build nearly as much muscle as a compound exercise would for those two areas. And this is something that I learned, you know, later on in my, in my career, uh, I understood this with legs. You know, if, if you were to compare the biceps and triceps uh, to your legs, which would be maybe your quadriceps or like your hamstring or like your, your triceps, right? And your hamstrings would be like your biceps. Uh, what are the best exercises for quads? None of them include isolation exercises. It's all these compound lifts like barbell squats and, you know, front squats and that kind of stuff. Same thing is true for biceps and triceps. You know, uh, palms up or supinated grip pull-ups or chin-ups, really focusing on squeezing the biceps, amazing exercise for building the biceps. It's a pull-up, but it really works the biceps really well, and you, you're obviously using a lot more weight because mm -hmm. it's a compound lift. And then for triceps, like a close grip bench press or dips, oh, yeah. those will build more strength and muscle than any other isolation exercise I can think of. We did a whole episode on these. Yeah. So if you're if this is someone new to listening to the the podcast, and you we touch on that among other things uh, on the episode. The other thing is like frequency, right? So, um, you know, I, I agree the, the biggest thing or best exercise ever that put size on my triceps were, uh, and I prefer incline. So, but I mean, close grip bench press and it's just, it's simple. Uh, you, if you do skull crushers or you do these isolation exercises, just look at how much weight you can do with those. Mm -hmm. Uh, maybe if you're really, really strong, you're doing, a you know, a hundred pounds or so, mm -hmm. you know, give or take on skull crushers. But I mean, you could load a you could load a barbell with you know maybe two twenty five. Yeah, the same person would do two twenty five. Right, it right. So you can just load it way more, um, and then just learning to focus on using the triceps more than your your delts or your chest when you do an exercise like that. And then it, back to what I was my point with frequency, it's just increasing the frequency that you're you're hitting those muscle groups. I, I think that's normally the go to before I get into like major exercise selection. Very very. Uh, rare that it's like somebody who, who's trying to grow their buys and tries and they haven't tried all these different exercises. It's normally that their their programming uh, just needs some work. And normally it's somewhere where you increase frequency is what ends up helping the most. Yeah, it's definitely about, uh, like you mentioned, the load uh, in terms of like uh, an exercise that... Uh, you're gonna you're gonna go through this exercise knowing that you can actually load uh, a substantial amount more, but it's 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 about creating the, the loudest signal with that. So the most force demand. So I have to be able to recruit uh, quite a bit more muscle fibers, you know, throughout my body to produce, you know, one of these compound lifts or one of these other, you know, more involved type exercises, and that. Uh, you know that that adds up. Your your muscles, even the, on the individual level, your your muscles, you know, get benefit from that, and you know, tend to respond uh, quite more substantially than just you know these isolated exercises. And if you look at like the program, so Maps Aesthetic is a good example of like when you're trying to target a muscle group to, and develop it. Right, that whole program is designed around picking a muscle group that you want to develop more. And if you unpack the programming, there's, you know, you have your three foundational days where you're doing these major compound lifts. And then we have what are called focus days, which are on the, the opposite days where you're doing that more isolation. So the cable push downs, the basic dumbbell curls, the, mm -hmm. the isolation type of exercises as volume builders on the other two days. But you're, I mean, you're hitting your arms technically, you know, three to five times a, a week. If you do that, they're going to grow, you know, especially if you're doing it well and and programming it well with good compound exercises and then isolation exercises to complement that. Yeah, I and here so here's a good example. I'm going to give you a generic kind of good tricep and bicep workout. So, um, you know, for biceps, you could do your supinated grip uh, pull-ups, really focusing on the bicep squeeze at the top. Start with that, and the next exercise would be like a barbell curl. And then maybe a hammer curl. Um, great mass building, muscle building combo right there. For triceps, I would do either weighted dips or close grip bench press to start with. 
Then you could do a skull crusher, which is a, you know the, the technical term is a lying tricep extension. And then an overhead tricep extension. Um, great combination. Those three exercises, put, do them in the order I just said. And for a lot of you listening, it's a, it'll, it'll elicit some pretty good results.